do you think it's worth $60? Let's take it down and return it. She's a TikToker. Ew, I feel like you tried in like some shit. So I don't really shop anymore. I just go on TikTok and apparently I buy what everyone on there tells me to buy. So this is that video where I've done that. And all this stuff is very overhyped mm. and hopefully good. Oh, this is a part two by the way. If you guys want to watch my last video like this, I'll have a link down below. And I'll link as much of this stuff as I can find a link to down below as well. First things first, we have a package from Amazon. Like I said in my last video like this. Whoa, what's wrong with my scissors? They have glue on them. I can never remember what I order in these videos. So it's going to be fun. Yeah! Okay, this is like a little bit late. I'm so excited. I got one of those light projectors. Holy heck, y'all, I've never been so excited about something in my whole life. I actually forgot I ordered that. Okay, out of everything in this whole video, I feel like this is it. It's probably not gonna get better than this. I've seen every TikToker, influencer, Instagrammer with this Galaxy lamp. Oh, she's like kind of smaller than I expected. Let's set her up. I hope it works. So there is an app, but your girl cannot be bothered with that right now. So, let's see. Wait, it's actually sick. I wanna find like the TikToker setting. Wait, I honestly just thought it was gonna be blue. This is so sick. This is what it actually looks like in person. Loki didn't realize there were so many settings. <laughs> She's a TikToker. The red reminds me of like a horror film. I'm gonna go and enjoy this and probably post on my Instagram story about it, even though I was gonna wait till the video, but like I don't think I can. Okay, why is this my favorite purchase of 2020? This is so something that Kane Foster is gonna try and steal from me. Just saying, calling it now. Watch him come back with a webcam clip in his bedroom with this and me have nothing. We got more Amazon goods. I think I'm opening this upside down, but my address is on the other side. Oh, y'all. I forgot about this too. Okay, apparently I don't remember anything in this video. This is a rechargeable makeup brush cleaner. And I saw a TikTok of this. I'm so stoked about this because I have been saving cleaning my makeup brushes for this video. And they're, they're disgusting, so. She's definitely flat, so let's charge it. So here's the thing. I would have assumed that I would use like some sort of makeup remover to get the makeup off of my brushes, but apparently we're just using some antibacterial soap. I'm just gonna put like a couple of pumps in there. And here are the brushes that I've been keeping heaps dirty for y'all. My powder brush specifically is just disgusting. The kit comes with these little attachments. You basically wanna pick out the size of your brush. I, for some reason, just feel like I'm about to end up with makeup all over everything that I own. But apparently you just dunk it in and then <laughs> she's like a little less powerful than I thought it would be. The color of the water is so different now. You can see how clean my makeup brushes really were. I think it went flat. <laughs> I charged it for two minutes. Hopefully it's enough. Okay, to dry it, you just like lift it above the water for 10 seconds. I mean, I feel like it could go for around two. Why does this look like iced coffee? Just like some ice cubes in there. It looks like ground coffee on the inside of here, but it's just disgusting, crusty old makeup. I wonder how many dollars worth of makeup's in the bottom of that. Honestly, I don't think I realized how dirty and disgusting my makeup brushes were because like I can see the dirt is just lifting off of it, but it's still freaking dirty. This is the before and after. It's way freaking better. This is the most um, accurate and necessary thing that I've seen for 2020. UV multifunctional sterilizer wireless charger. You can like sterilize all your shit in here. They even have a toothbrush in here. Like I'm probably not gonna sterilize my toothbrush in here, but like I probably will sterilize my phone. Oh. Okay, so I've seen these things online, they're kind of expensive, but this one wasn't as expensive and she's a freaking wireless phone charger, so we're gonna go put it on the side table because where else does it belong? She's ready. I've never really had a wireless charger before. For some reason, I feel like that would like be bad for you. Like fry my brain or something. <laughs> like it's right next to where I sleep, so I don't know. Maybe you'll be wirelessly recharging. <laughs> Is she hot or am I just like tripping? <laughs> so this charges your phone. Oh, and she's actually freaking charging. Hey, we got it. We gonna sterilize my phone. I'll probably like sterilize my keys and stuff in here. 
and that's it. See you in five to ten minutes. Anyway, my boyfriend's making me a coffee now. I'm gonna go. It's done. I don't really know what to say because there's no way for me to tell if this actually lick it, worked. Lick it. Absolutely not. <laughs> you want to lick my phone? No. Ah, oh, you did it. Yeah. I want to go now. Are you cleaning yours? Yeah, I'm doing the 10 minute one. Hey. Wait, what is it? <laughs> oh, the one that I saw in the TikTok was like way freaking cuter than this one, but it was like really expensive and I did not want to pay a lot of money for it. It's a USB cup warmer. Yesterday we saw a cup warmer, a mug warmer, cup mug warmer at the store and it was $400. I don't know how much this was, but it was not $400. I don't really drink hot coffee. I just like iced coffee, but I do drink tea. For the purpose of this, I may as well have a hot coffee. Go and eat one of those. The coffee. Cooking. No, you can have a look. It's a Mickey Mouse. Are we not doing the transition? No. Are you telling I me? I told you earlier. Are you telling me work? that you had me on my elbow this whole yes, time? You didn't need to do that. <laughs> can you show the camera, please? There we go. Look at that. That's that a Mickey Mouse. It's so stunning. It's really hot. You want to click and we'll end up on the table? That was a fucking shit click ever. When you're drunk, you do this the whole time. <laughs> Can you just inform me that this coffee is not a mocha? It's a cappuccino, which ain't my thing, but we're grateful. She's on. Well, the trick now. Oh, it's like getting hot already. I really? can feel can it. Touch it. Oh, damn. Holy crap. Okay, that's gonna like yeah. heat it up. It's not sitting flat on there. That's giving me anxiety. She's currently the perfect temperature, so hopefully it will maintain that. I'm gonna just go on my computer and I'll talk to you guys in like 10 minutes and let you know if it's still warm. All right, Italia. I do have to say that I feel like it is basically exactly the same as before. Holy crap, really? And I can also feel like the heat in the mug too, which I feel like is probably what cools it down normally. Why would he just put his finger in my drink? I'm gonna go. Stop pretending to be on my computer now. <laughs> Bye. So this was obviously Cain Foster influenced. Okay, what is it called? The little green spot cleaner for carpet and upholstery. It's like a cleaner. I think the TikTok that I saw was someone cleaning their like car seat. They also just have like dirty rugs and stuff like that. So we're gonna see if this ish works. It's freaking heavy. Cause I got high hopes. Do you want the same? Welcome to my rug that honestly cost me a decent amount of money and I'm ashamed of it because it's dirty. Like for real, I feel uncomfortable that you guys are watching this in a video. Here are my stains on my beautiful rug. <laughs> and you can't really see it that well on camera, but I dropped a hot chocolate here one time and you can only get out so much by hand. <laughs> We have a little, a little line where this is clean and this is still dirty. Probably not gonna clean the whole rug on camera, but I do have this pillow that I always sit on when I'm doing my makeup. And she's got makeup all over us, so we're gonna see what we can do. The like spots are gone. It's still freaking wet and I only did one side. This is the dirty side. Well, I can actually like clean it and put it on my couch now. Kane wants to show me what the water looks like and I'm kind of scared because I feel like I'm not gonna want to touch my other carpets until I clean them. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking black. Look at that. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Let's pour it out now. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I know what this is. Okay. This is like kind of embarrassing. So y'all have probably seen those, they're like a bath caddy and you like put it across the center of your bath and it like, you can put your like iPad on there, your laptop, watch Netflix, have some snacks on there. Well, this is like basically that, <laughs> except it's for the side of your bed. This says so much about, like I just put too many like snacks and crap next to my side table. It's meant to hold all that. Hi, I'm Sarah, definitely not Kate. Bless <laughs> I'm you. so sorry. <laughs> uh, look. I forgot to 
turn the mic on. Um, I feel really bad about this. I'm trying to make up for that. This is Sarah making it, put it all together. It looks great. And then she puts a hydro flask on it and it didn't fit and she's super sad. See, so sad. So Kane just realized that he wasn't recording audio and I realized that I hate him, <laughs> but also my phone doesn't even fit in these compartments. Like, what are they for? I'm a low key, pretty disappointed, unless that counts. My hydro flask doesn't fit in the cup holder, so I can only put alcohol in there. I'm gonna go put the stuff that actually fits on there. The way it's meant to be. Oh, that was not even good. Don't, please don't include that one. Actually. I actually did, sorry. <laughs> I would just like to say that I did get it in my mouth. Can cut that out. Also, I'm never saying cut this out again because. I keep it, it in. <laughs> Do you think it's worth the sixty dollars I paid for it? It was sixty dollars? Yeah. No way! I'm sure there's a cheaper one on the internet, but that's the only one I could. Well, find. Let's take it down and return it. <laughs> so I'm renting, and there's like a limit to how many like hooks and stuff you can put on the wall. You got to get approved, so you can't really hang anything up. So I found these like sticky wall hooks that you can like hang your jackets or your bags on, and they don't damage your wall. <laughs> I freaking hope not because otherwise I'll have to pay for the wall. I'm like coming in here to film this shot and my bedroom is so messy. Welcome to my bathroom. This isn't my bathroom, but we're gonna make it over today <laughs> with some special hooks. Wow, I think the lighting is sh Hold on. This is Kane's Fixer Opera, part two. What's the part one? The table I did the other week. I had to help you, pal. Just so you guys know, I'm helping. So basically, I want to hang up another hook like this. Please get them even. You've done amazing. Stick? Great. It's literally just holding a towel, so if it doesn't hold it up, we have a problem. Wow, you've done so great, pal. I probably, thinking about it, would have placed them slightly further apart, but it's fine. <laughs> it's not really in my mirror selfie as much as I would have pulled, but it's fine. I've seen a bunch of TikToks about this, but it is like a scrunchie with a little zipper pocket. You can put like cash in there, or I may or may not have seen people put alcohol in there and like sneak it into a venue, but like not encouraging that. Probably gonna test to see if that works. Even if this doesn't work, this is pretty cool because you can obviously put money in things that actually fit in here. I just feel like in different countries, the bottles are like low key smaller. I have a problem in Australia. Oh, that's gonna work. That's gonna look super cute in my hair. It doesn't look like you're hiding anything at all. They're definitely not gonna know anything. Does anyone want some <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so this, has no English on it, but I think it's like a face mister. I don't know how it works and there's no instructions. So this is my face mister. There's honestly not a lot of purpose to this, I feel like, unless you're gonna put like serum in here, which I don't have. I literally couldn't even feel it on my face. This is kind of fun. <laughs> Kane is just like, inhaling the mist. Obviously this would have been better if I had had some sort of serum to actually put in there. What are you doing? <laughs> I hope it's clean. I didn't clean it fast. I saw this on TikTok just this morning. I feel like people have probably seen this already. This is called the pink stuff and it's just meant to make your shoes white. Here's the TikTok. I didn't realize that this is not just to clean shoes. You can actually clean saucepans, cooktops, sinks, barbecues, ceramic tiles, glass, showers, garden, furniture, paintwork, boats, brass, rust. The thing is I don't own a boat and the TikTok was someone cleaning their shoes, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm like hoping that this is gonna be really satisfying. Ooh, in real life it's like less pink than I thought it was gonna be. It's freaking white. <laughs> pink is colorblind, y'all. It's not freaking white. What's the smell like? Chemicals. I'm about to come through and be the ultimate bestie pal ever because these are cane shoes. Ew, I feel like you tried in like some <laughs> It's on my kitchen counter. I feel like TikTok is one of those places where you should probably do your own research and actually work out how to use it, but I'm just gonna use it how I saw it in the TikTok because TikTok knows everything, so. Right I finished cleaning one of Kane's shoes. I'm gonna go put it in the washing machine. I decided for ultimate before and after, we're gonna leave this one dirty. Hopefully someone gets around to doing that one. It's like two days later. It obviously worked. I'm curious to see 
if I had to just put them in the washing machine, how much it would have improved them, but like, we're just gonna say that it worked, so I don't feel like I wasted my money. The only thing is, Kane spilled coffee on his shoes, and this just never disappeared, so you're just gonna have to live with that. It's a part of the shoes now, pal. So that was it. TikTok really did make me buy it. Kind of ashamed. Let me know what you guys want to see in my next video. Give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Come follow me on Instagram. I always reply with that. I'll see you guys next time.